Hello everyone and welcome to another wildlife vlog. Right now I'm in Cameron Park, California. I'm on a small walk or hike to see if I can find some wildlife. So let's go. Here you can see a male and female acre woodpecker. The left one is a male. This can be seen because of its red cap that goes all the way until its white forehead. The female will still have a little bit of black in between. They are very social birds, so this is not a rare sight to see. They live in groups composed of both sexes and all ages. They are not migratory, so will stay around all year. Their range includes western and southwestern United States of America, Mexico, Central America and Northern Colombia. They can live at high elevations until there are no oaks present anymore. Their habitat consists of all forests as long as there are oaks. Acorn woodpeckers are known for storing a lot of food. The whole group helps in creating a big storage for the winter. All group members will even participate in the breeding process. Group members will even incubate the eggs and feed the young. The white-tailed kite is common in all sorts of open habitat like marshes and savannas. They don't prefer heavily grazed areas. Around the early 30s the white-tailed kite was nearly extinct in California. Presently they are very common, this is in connection with increasing agriculture. They are thriving in agricultural land and the kites don't seem to get disrupted by it. During the winter kites are solitary and diurnal, but they will return to communal roosting sites each night. Those roosting sites are used until the nest building begins. So it was a nice hike with some nice birds. I uh, hope you enjoyed. I'll see you next time. Take care.
Mood swan is an invasive species in California. They were introduced in North America in the 1800s. They were introduced because of their classic swan looks. For multiple reasons they are becoming a problem. They are pretty aggressive birds. They are known to chase and bite humans if they enter their territory. They will also eat a lot. They are very big and weigh a lot so it's not crazy to say that they need much food. This food may not be available for native species and it disrupts ecosystems. Another reason is that they are directly aggressive to native species. They might hunt them off their nests, break eggs or kill the chicks of other species. Which means that they are chasing the species away from their own habitat. Because of these reasons I do not particularly like to see mute spawns in the wild in California. But they are still pretty to film. Thank mm -hmm. you. 